our hyper little puppy here. This is Duncan, our family mascot, and he is waiting for the RC trucks. He just wants to eat one in the worst kind of way. Oh no, eat it! And of course you all know Eli from previous videos. We're going to practice today on the rocks. We have to get some practice in because the comp is next Saturday and so we have built a course on my rock pile here and I'm going to walk you through it. It's got some hard technical right at the very beginning. We start at the blue. Gate. Okay, he's going to show us. So first, guys up through here. This part's going to be tricky. You gotta go up over gate two, okay. so you're climbing a step. Now that step is just as high as a normal rock crawler is. There is a way to get over it, but it's tricky and you gotta know how to drive. And then you gotta go straight down. Through. You might get stuck in this giant hole. Okay. Then sharp turn and back up over the big rock. And then you gotta make a and then another. Circle, come back up. And then turn sharp around, turn through the seven. And go through here. And then just drive through, through here. eight. A little bit of side hill side on the big hill rock. rock. Squeeze through those rocks. End on the back. Cool. Eli is the first attempt. He just drove in the mud, so his tires are all muddy. We'll see if he can actually get up on the rocks. Oh, you were up on there and then you fell off. There you go. You're good. Slow down, find the grip, turn into it. Yep, Tur no, stay, You're, you gotta stay turned into it. Like that, yep, nice and easy. Attempt number two, Duncan, quit it. There you go, just dry it, just keep it turned hard, keep it turned hard just like that. And it'll usually walk around. There you go. Now straighten out. Don't throttle it. Don't there throttle you go. It. You got it. There you go. Nice. Oh, I forgot to take my hitch out. <laughs> that might present a problem. Put it right back right Yep, let it dig around. Okay. Oh, it dug too much around and hit the gate. Got it. That's three gates, yep. And now you're too low to get number four. What happened there? <laughs> Better drive it out. There's no boundary, so you can technically drive it out and go around. Nice. Now can you get the front to pull around? There it is. Nice. Come wide. I'm gonna make a big circle. That's part of Get your tires up on there and Oh easy. Slid off the rock because the tires got wet. So you get that mud on those tires by spinning in the dirt and then they don't have any grip. You 
you're, you're doing it again. Don't spin in the mud. You get them tires all slippery. almost had it you just got to get those tires not so dirty Duncan is sitting off his collar he wants to eat that truck so bad Mr. Dave here going for his try cold tires Yeah. Mulligan. <laughs> Normally it walks right up over that. I wonder if they're just not gripping because they're cold. You do have a little bit shorter wheelbase than we do. There you got it. See, the bumper doesn't even hardly touch at all. It just climbs right up that. And then that back tire digs around. Right there, it looks like it's so perfectly lined up to do it. There it goes. Fell down off that side. Might have to winch. <laughs> Except my winch isn't hooked up right now. It's unplugged because it keeps over. It keeps thermaling out. Oops. I don't know if his tires have enough bite because he drove through the mud. There, there it goes. Go. Nice. Usually that big rock on your right will dig you around. Yep. Sometimes it'll over dig you. Well done. He didn't hit Quit it. He didn't hit the gate. He took his time. See, he went slow with his trigger control. That one's a little tricky because that rock wants to stuff you. And right, then there's the big down. hole. <laughs> oh. oh, nicely done, but hit the gate anyway. <laughs> right up on that like nothing tires got wet <laughs> there it is now again that big rock on your right should dig you around if it doesn't end up on its roof <laughs> well that's one way to do it <laughs> You can technically drive through the gate in reverse. Yeah, we'll do it the wrong way. Eli ended up snagging that one with his back tire. It was his idea to gate. Oh, oh 
almost scared it too. That was close. I burped the throttle and just, it just it flipped <laughs> at the wrong time. What? Just at the wrong what time. time I made it. Turn the other way and it's still going right. Roll over. I might just take a gate on this one because I'm pretty sure I can't get this. Asking a lot for this truck to stay that sideways. I think that's the gate for that tire, yeah. Should have just straddled it. Now that rock that I moved is in my way. Come on! Can't back up so now.
electronics of my R1. 360 some ounces. Well, it wants to put the rear steer wants to push it that way. Yeah, it does. And then steer your right. There you go. Kissing the fuzz. Josh commented that it wasn't steering enough. I'm like, that's because it's all stock axial stuff. I just happen to have a whole nother set of axles and transmission that were for that Jeep build I was working on. Gotta love that. No slip. It really doesn't have the flex in the rear that I need either. I'm gonna have to work on that. And we're not moving that gate because those gates are wide enough. circle straight straighten your rear out catch up in a second yep there it goes nice yeah buddy i watch the big stuff online all the time when they do the crawl comps <laughs> this is the first time <clears throat> i drove last night i put my headlamp on and came out and drove like one time but it's the first time I ever drove anything with rear steer. A lot of those guys don't even use rear steer. They just they use dig a lot. Well, I I am a particular fan of dig because you just drag the back end where it needs to go. It's a lot easier. I sure. Think. I'm just worried that when this front tire pops up over. Watch people like like Jr. When he drove his with rear steer, he was amazing. Come here, you mud ball. Ah. Bad ball. The dog has made a soupy meddy mess right here by trying to attack the trucks while we're on the rock pile. His invisible fence won't let him come any further than where the mud is. <coughs> Dunk it. Jeez. 